one here in Dearborn Heights. Robert Crawford has it, gets over to Bonham. Bonham with a nice crossover. Can't get the shot to go down. Rebounded there by Dakota Foster. And the Eagles, once again, in control. Brandon Jordan gets that one to go down. And the Eagles' lead is again back up to six. The Bulldogs head down to three. Bonham trying to get the ball to Rodgers. It does get knocked out of bounds. So the Bulldogs looking to inbound here. Gets over to Robert Crawford. Back over to Kyle Halloway. Bulldogs try to go inside. You know they'd like to get to Kalik Spicer. Bonham gets it to Crawford. Back over to Halloway. Hall trying to go inside to Spicer. And they're going to call a foul on Devin White. Don't look now, but Devin White has four fouls. Devin White, that is his fourth personal. Team foul number eight. The Eagles are in the one one three. And Kalik Spicer again going to the line. Kalik Spicer. First shot on the way is good. The Bulldogs shooting 40% from the free throw line. Four for ten. And that is the difference in this game. Second free throw on the way for Spicer, and it's good. Two big free throws. And once again, the Bulldogs are within four. And Aaron Hayes travels. Good defense by Robert Crawford. And the Bulldogs get the ball back. Robert Crawford has it. The Eagles fans wanted to travel. They're not getting it. Gets the ball over to Darius Phillips, who gets the shot to go down. And the Bulldogs are within two. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Khalid Spicer with the block. And it goes out of bounds to the Bulldogs. Khalid Spicer. Coming up with the block of the game for the Bulldogs. And they will get the ball back. Bulldogs trail by just two. 154 left in the game. Bonham has it for the Bulldogs. You got to be looking to think they'll go inside to Spicer. And on the drive... They're going to get Brandon Jordan with a foul. That's his first. So step into the line, Lorenzo Bonham, to shoot two. Excuse me, one and one. The first free throw is on the way. No good. Rebound by the Bulldogs. And it goes out of bounds. And it will stay with Robichard. Darius Phillips tries to inbound. Gets over to Spicer. Inside to Spicer. Can't get to go down. Good block by the Eagles. But the Bulldogs get it back. Shot no good. The Bulldogs, Rogers for three. No good. Fighting for the rebound underneath the basket. Bodies falling everywhere. Robichaud picks the ball away. Everyone going to the floor. Finally, Aaron Hayes gets the shot to go down. Count it and the foul. That foul will be on Darius Phillips. That's his second personal. And Coach Vernon Crump is not happy on the sidelines.
Free throw no good, rebounded by Phillips. Gets over to Bonham. Bonham to Rogers for three. No good. Bonham gets the rebound. Gets over to Phillips. For three. No good. Bonham with the rebound. Gets it to go down. And real quick, Coach Vernon Crump wants a timeout. His team with his in two. 48 seconds left. And the fans are on their feet here in Dearborn Heights. This game has been back and forth action all night long. This is expected, exactly what we expected. Two top teams from their divisions going hard at each other. You know Coach Vernon Crump is gonna draw up an inbound defensive play to try and get his team back the ball. And for the Bulldogs, so far they're looking good as far as fouls go. But looking on the Eagles side of the ball, Raphael Dunson has four, Devin White has four. And those are two big players for the Eagles, who you know Coach Vernon Crump wants to attack and get them out of this game. So buckle up your chin strap, buckle your safety belts. Here we go. 48 seconds left. Bulldogs trail by two. The inbound gets knocked away to the Bulldogs. Checking in the game for the Bulldogs now, Lorenzo Bonham. And the Bulldogs have a chance here to tie or take the lead. 46.7 seconds left in the game. Over to Robert Crawford. Crawford loses the dribble, gets it back. 39 seconds. Crawford gets out to Holloway. Holloway on the drive. Layup and it's good. And don't look now, but the Bulldogs have tied it up. And Kyle Holloway Darius Phillips on the inbound. It's going to be called for a foul. That's his third. A non-shooting foul. So Kennedy needs the inbound again. And the Bulldogs will get the ball back. Well, Kennedy will have to inbound. Inbound goes right over to Aaron Hayes. Good defense by the Bulldogs. Hayes gets it over to Dunson. Dunson gets it over to Devin White. 16 seconds left. Bulldogs get the re loose ball. Goes to the Bulldogs. 12.4 seconds left. And we are all tied up. And Coach Vernon Crump wants a timeout. He wants to discuss this with his team. 12.4 seconds left. Bulldogs, Eagles tied. And what else can you say, but this has been a great play game on both sides of the ball by both teams. Give credit to the Bulldogs. They trailed by four the whole game, but they've been able to stick it in there, stick with it, and they, leap, and they are now tied. So Bulldogs fans, for all the latest information on your Bulldogs team, visit bulldogscountry.org. On family night, all the seniors being honored here tonight before the game, been given roses and were on the court with their family members. Last home game of the year for the Bulldogs. And last, last broadcast from bulldogscountry.org. So it all comes down to this. 12.4 seconds left. We are all tied. Bulldogs inbound. Gets it to Kalik Spicer. Over to Bonham. Eight seconds. Now seven seconds. Five seconds. Bonham loses the ball. Spicer gets it back. 
It goes out of bounds. No time left on the clock. And, and we are going into overtime. And what better way to finish it? And we will be right back with all the overtime action. I'm Derek Kerr from BulldogCountry.org. We'll be right back. So 32 minutes was not enough to settle this game. And we head into overtime. All tied at 47. Bulldogs and Eagles getting ready to jump it up. And no one, no one tapped it, so we'll have to do it again. Spicer jumping against Jordan, and the Eagles get the ball. Aaron Hayes has it for the Bulldog for the Eagles. Bulldogs trying to play stiff defense. They played it the whole game. Kyle Halloway playing good defense, able to adjust that shot, and the Bulldogs get the ball. Lorenzo Bonham has it. Gets it over to Holloway. Both teams fighting really hard in this game here tonight. Robert Crawford gets it over to Rodgers. You know Vernon Crump would love to see Rodgers get open for a three. Holloway has it way up by the three-point line. Robert Crawford gets it over to Holloway. Going inside to Spicer with the hook. No good. Gets the rebound. Still no good. Rebounded by the Eagles. Dakota Foster. And the Eagles will have an opportunity to take the lead. 2.47 left in the first overtime. All tied at 47. Bobby Benz on the drive. Gets it over. To Brandon Jordan, who gets a shot to go down. And the Eagles have a two-point lead, 226 left in the game. Rogers for three. No good. And Dunson gets the ball for the Eagles. That shot good by Aaron Hayes. And two quick trips down the court. And two quick shots. We do have an injured player on the Eagles side of the ball. Brandon Jordan. So if you remember, Kyle Halloway was on the line. First free throw is no good. Bulldogs trail by four. Halloway's second shot is up. Good. And the Bulldogs now trail by just three. Two minutes to go in the overtime period. Aaron Hayes on the drive. No good. Spicer with the rebound. It's over to Robert Crawford. And right there, Bonham has it for the Bulldogs, slowing things up. Gets it over to Crawford on the drive. Finger roll, no good. Spicer can't get it. Rebound, Phillips, no good. Spicer gets it. And finally, they're going to call a foul. Which will send Khalid Spicer to the line again to shoot two. So Spicer's first free throw, no good. And the Bulldogs have not been good from the line. Spicer is only three of six. And you have 